Trisha, and she's Yang Yang. <laughs> we are in the gorgeous spirits. It's on the outskirts of Jinzhou, Huanglong. Your attire doesn't seem local. Are you a roving traveler from afar, or someone returning home? when you wake up. The wind has brought us a warning. The Atheric Sea is converging. It seems a new tacit field is taking shape. That means it's probably gonna get dangerous here soon. are out of service because of the etheric sea's influence. We can't send or receive messages for help now. We better hurry over to meet up with Baijiu at our gathering spot and get out of here. Guess you really can't recall a thing, but don't worry. If you got any questions, we can talk as we move. Yang Yang and I will give you the full scoop every little detail from the get-go. Rover, uh, can we call you that for now? Before you remember your true name? We shouldn't stay here. If you don't have other plans, how about leaving with us for now? Oh, that's great! Let's go together! I know you can't remember a thing, but there's one thing I'm 90%, no, 100% sure about you. You must be a resonator too. You've got a tacit mark on the back of your hand, and you have a gourd. This is proof you're a resonator. Your gourd's design looks a bit different from the ones we use, though. Also, we have resonators who can detect the formation of tacit fields nearby, like what Yang Yang just did. She can tell it may seem all nice and quiet here now, but you never know when a tacit discord might pop up out of nowhere. Oh my, speak of the devil! despite having forgotten everything? Wow, watch me lead the charge next time. No one messes with Ma Shao F uh, I mean, Chisha. from the fight? This is the statue of Jue, the sentinel in Zhenzhou, in the shape of a long, 
There is one capital and six cities in Huanglong, with each city having its own sentinel. While they share some similarities in appearance, there are also differences. In Huanglong, most of the sentinels take the shape of a long. In other regions, they manifest in various forms. Sentinels are present where civilizations thrive. Huanglong stands out with the highest number of currently coexisting sentinels because of its long history and vast land. Records state the sentinels in Huanglong were once a single entity. Now they are each responsible for a part of Huanglong. Naturally, there are sentinels in other regions too, but fewer compared to Huanglong. You were standing face to face with our sentinel? One can hardly see our sentinel with their own eyes. Most people only get the chance during the appointment ceremonies. According to your description, you stood pretty close. Only the sentinel's appointed resonator is allowed in its proximity. For now, that person is the magistrate of Zhenzhou. Whoa, darn! That must be an elite class! Chizia might be in danger. Rover, please. was close. You fought so well. I didn't even get a chance to help, and Yang Yang just rushed over to protect you like a mu- <clears throat> Anyway, Yang Yang was trying to shield you, and then BAM! The Tessa Disco- See? There's a resonance beacon over there. When you see a beacon, be sure to register and activate it. It's usually safe within a five meter radius of a beacon. It can protect you from danger sometimes. Rover. Could you hand me your terminal for a moment? <sighs> Done. Its design and system version are different from ours, but your terminal still has the data transfer and other basic functions. We are almost at the gorgeous entrance. There will be a descent, but if your terminal's glider module still works, once you're out of the gorge, there's only a short walk to reach Jinjo. Jinjo is the safest place around here. The Resonance Nexus provides coverage for the whole city. Besides, we've got a protective barrier and strong fortifications. <laughs> right? Jinjo sits between the Deseret Highland and the Norfolk Barrens. It's a border city and a fortress. It's very crucial to the safety of Huanglong. Huh? We've agreed to meet up with Bai Zhe here. Where is she? This is the center of the Atheric Sea. Field? When did it show up? It wasn't here when we just got here. But I didn't sense a hint of a tacit field's presence. So it appeared while we weren't looking? Like in the blink of an eye? Or maybe the etheric sea can tell where we are. Could it be following us? The center of the tacit field. Baija? Baija! Baija! We're too far away. Perhaps she can't hear us. We agreed to meet up around here, and she said she was off to collect some samples. Gosh, did she really go straight into the heart of a tacit field for that? Baija wouldn't take such risks without careful consideration. Freshly formed tacit fields go through a dormant period. 
The faster a tacit field forms, the longer its dormant period lasts. For now, this tacit field should be safe. According to the hero plays, yes, there's a chance for that. Right. The glider can't carry us beyond the tacit field's range. Besides, Baija is there. We'll have to go down and see what is going on. Now it's time to use a glider module. Rover, let me help you activate it. it seems. Yeah, he was super energetic, handled a super big TD, way more spirited than me. I've been keeping an eye on his condition through the street. Baija is just concerned about your condition. She must think we shouldn't be letting you move around that much, since you've just regained consciousness. This isn't the place for talking. Let's go.
goodness. We could see that darn barrier, but couldn't lay a finger on it. I'm fine, too. I've never seen such a formidable tacit discord before, but Rover was able to completely defeat it. I didn't really do much. It was all thanks to you, Rover. That's strange. This place isn't known to be so dangerous. Anyway, come check this out! <sighs> Oh, this is an echo. Wow, an echo of the elite class. Someone got lucky today. My apologies. We got a little carried away. Does reverberation or echo ring a bell to you, Rover? Everything in our world is made up of frequencies, and every sound generates a reverberation. Those echoes are the lingering reverberations of tacit discords after they disintegrate. We can absorb them into the data banks in our Pangu terminals. Oh, by Pangu terminal, she means the gourd-shaped device every resonator has, developed by researchers in Guanglong. But you see, it's not always we get to find these. Also, there's a limit to what your gourd can absorb. Absorption is only possible when your data bank's level is equal to or higher than the tacit discord's level. The terminal can then convert its reverberation into an echo for use in battle. My terminal issued a warning when it detected that tacit discord earlier. It should at least be an Overlord class. Rover, would you mind checking your data bank level? No need for that. Rover, why don't you just try absorbing it with your terminal? Oh, so it doesn't work. It won't take long before the reverberations disappear and the etheric sea vanishes. Once that happens, the resonance beacon signals will come back. The tacit field will dissipate, biding time for its next resurgence. <sighs> we'll need to report the unusual phenomena here to the City Hall and the Academy. Let's make our exit. resonance ability quite like this. You got any other tricks up your sleeve? Like eating a whole tacit discord? Grilling echoes alive? Wasn't it your resonance ability? Rover, are you feeling all right? Any discomfort? Could it be the side effect of fighting that tacit discord? Baiju. Can we take Rover to do a checkup at Huashu Academy's Resonance Medical Department? Hmm. Baiju? Absorbing echoes with the human body is not entirely unprecedented. With the human body? I remember Comprehensive Mirror for Historians mentioned this in the Huanglong section's opening. A celestial being descended. Commanding the Tiankun's boundless power, assuming mortal form, they condense the primordial essence, creating Pangu. Cleaving heaven and earth apart, they aligned the celestial and terrestrial. Their radiance encompassed the four corners. Thus began the illustrious annals of Huanglong, as provinces were first demarcated. They were 
was a very strong person way back, like they held the whole universe right in their hands. As there was no terminal in those days, they absorbed the tacit discords with their bare hands. And the TD they absorbed was the most powerful of all. That person turned it into the first Echo ever. Then they used the power of that Echo to rebuild the world, sort out the laws, and that's how the history of Huang Long began. Actually, I'm not. I hope I was, though. Those were just some old tales my parents used to tell me, kind of like the Sentinel's appointment thing. Yang Yang's got an impressive memory for the ancient texts. Me? I just happen to roughly remember what the story's about. Whether it's true or not, that story happened a long time ago, when Jinjo didn't even exist. Could it be that Rover's like the great, 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 Great granddaddy of us all? Let's not jump to conclusions without enough data and proper analysis. Rover. message to all of Genjo from the city hall. My fellow soldiers and citizens, I apologize for any inconvenience caused. I am Jin Shi, the magistrate of Jinjo. As the moon chasing festival approaches, our city welcomes visitors from around the world. The festivities are highly anticipated by our people and I too share in this joyful sentiment. Jingzhou has always been a crucial defense against the tacit discord outbreaks, safeguarding Huang Long. We have a heavy responsibility on our shoulders with no room for retreat or failure. It is the dedication of our warriors, along with the diligence of our citizens, that has allowed us to thrive in peace and prosperity. Despite the challenges of tacit discords, we remain steadfast and hospitable to visitors, upholding our enduring traditions. With that in mind, I have a favor to ask. Among our many visitors, there is one visitor that holds utmost importance to me, the city of Jinzhou, and the entirety of Huang Long. We have awaited your arrival for a long time. Given the circumstances, you may be feeling bewildered at this time. You should have noticed some strange happenings related to you. If you plan to stay in Jinjo for some time, I would be more than delighted to personally meet you in the city hall of Jinjo. While I cannot guarantee to provide all the answers you need, I will do my best to assist you and provide necessary permissions, if applicable. This is only my personal request. You can decide your course of action in any way you see fit. Therefore, I request the people and soldiers of Jinjo to assist this esteemed visitor when the opportunity arises. Why do I get this feeling? This person our magistrate was talking about? As Rover. The Moon Chasing Festival and the Spring Long Festival are their liveliest times in Huang Long. They're two of our most famous traditional festivals. Every region in Huang Long will be celebrating the festivals in their unique ways. Zhenzhou is a city built on the borders, but it's no exception in that regard. Hey, that ain't the point, okay? What are your plans now, Rover?
I remember you had a flashback of yourself looking into its eyes when you saw the statue of our sentinel. We can't confirm its authenticity, but based on the Magistrate's message, it seems Chen Zhou has a lot to do with your past. Whether you were the visitor our Magistrate mentioned or not, you are surely important to Chen Zhou, and you will be our important... Friend! We've already entrusted our lives to each other. I've never seen so many TDs packed together, and that elite one was so scary. Well, you did get rid of most of them. <laughs> anyway, once we're back in Jinjo, I'll treat you that famous specialty from Panhua's restaurant. It would be best for your well-being to have a thorough physical examination once we arrive in Jinjo. While there don't seem to be any immediate side effects following the absorption of that echo, we cannot rule out the possibility of other latent risks. Given our lack of data on you and your unusual physical signs, I suggest absorbing another reverberation with your terminal when we find one. That being said, please be sure to proceed cautiously. Yeah, don't go too hard on yourself. You should get a checkup just to be safe. Besides, Yang Yang's very worried about you. If you feel any discomfort along the way, Please do let us know.